Okay, so you know when it comes to editing Fortnite montages, there are four main softwares, DaVinci, Premiere Pro, Sony Vegas, and finally After Effects. I've made a lot of After Effects tutorials in the past, but I haven't really focused on how you could edit in the software as a beginner. So that's exactly what I'm going to be covering today. If you guys do enjoy and you want to support me, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I have links at the top of the description and they are important. So go check them out. And yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy the video. Let's get right into it. Okay, guys. So the first step of this is obviously going to be to boot up after effects if you guys don't have after effects installed you just need to go to adobe's website and you can either create a membership for you know a student or a personal account i personally have a student account so i'm able to get access to all the different apps i pay monthly just so you guys are aware you do have to pay for after effects uh, but there are some specific ways you can get it for free i'm not gonna i'm not allowed to tell you those different ways but if you're smart enough you'll figure them out <clears throat> watch tutorials on youtube but once we're inside of after effects we're just gonna go here to new composition we're gonna name this to fortnite sample beginner all right and we're gonna make sure that we configure these settings to start so to the width we're gonna make it 1920 height we're gonna make sure that's 1080 1920 by 1080 is pretty standard resolution make sure your frame rate's on 60 and i always like to make sure that we have like three minutes of space in the timeline right here uh because it gives us a lot of space to work with stuff so guys all we got to do now first thing you want to do is press Control s this is going to save our project so i'm going to name this fortnite sample ae something like that and what we're going to do if you guys are new to after effects which you probably are because you're a beginner guy right we're gonna add in our two main assets which is gonna be a song and then we're also gonna be adding our fortnite clips so i'm gonna add the song that i use in all my tutorials pay me by eric rapper and we're just gonna drag it into our little media pool right here and then we're also gonna want to find wherever we have our clip saved to so I'm just gonna drag those in right there. Okay, quickly before we actually get into the tutorial, I wanna quickly talk to you guys about my two editing packs that I have right now. I recently just dropped my 2024 editing pack and that has absolutely everything you need in terms of content creation. It'll help you make the best videos possible and make editing a lot easier when it comes to making your projects. In my packs, I have over 150 presets supporting DaVinci Resolve, After Effects, Premiere, and Sony Vegas. A ton of project files for my own videos as well as videos that I've edited for my own client so you're able to actually edit professional videos based off of them i have a ton of sample footage from some of the biggest youtubers that i've edited for practice clips for fortnite a sound effects library music library memes literally everything you could ever need for editing and if you guys can't actually afford my 2024 pack i have an all-in-one five dollar pack that's great for beginners as well so if you guys want to check out either of those packs they're going to be at the top of the description but i won't go on any longer let's get right back to the video so now what we're going to do is we're just going to drag our song in and we can see that it is is in the timeline like this and in a lot of editing softwares right away we're able to see the waveforms of the audio but in after effects it's a little different we have to press ll on our keyboard to bring up our audio forms and this will allow us to see you know these waveforms okay so the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking for that first beat drop because that's what we're going to have the kill on so right here just by listening we can see right here this is what we're looking for this beat right here and we can see it on the waveform so i'm going to click on the layer i'm going to right click go to markers and add a marker on that layer and just like that we can kind of drag this to the left a little bit just so we can have you know less of the song leading up to it okay so the next thing i want to talk about is adding a marker to like every single beat on the song bang right here so uh once you start editing montages you know that like you'll just have a marker on every single beat um by the way, if you do need to cut any layer, you press Control Shift D and that'll cut the layer. Did you guys know that 94% of you guys that watch my videos right now are not subscribed to the channel? If you're in that 94%, dude, I don't know what you're doing. Just make sure to drop a sub. Anyways, let's just get right back to the video. So this is the space that we're going to be working with. We're going to be working with these three markers right here. Um, that's going to be for the three clips that I have in my timeline. So we can collapse this now by pressing this little arrow right here. And by the way, if you need to look at the audio, you'd either press LL while having the layer selected or just expand it go like this just press ll just like that you can like open close it whatever um okay so that is that now for our clips we can just double click to preview them and we can use this little bar here to preview the clip without having to drag them in all the way and what i'll always do is i'll find wherever i have the kill in my clip i'll come after the kill press the out thing here come before the kill press the in thing then i'll drag it in i've already done it with this clip um but for example what i would normally do is i would look for where we get the kill in the clip and by the way if you are using a keyboard you need to press control and your arrow keys at the same time that'll allow you to move them okay so we're gonna find our shotgun pellets we're gonna right click go to marker because that's gonna be basically where we get our kill right and we're gonna line that marker up with the marker on this song 
So just like that, have that lined up. And when you're dragging out a layer, always press shift because that typically works out better um, in terms of like snapping. Always make sure you're pressing control S by the way, to save your progress. That's the number one thing I could recommend. Okay, so we basically have those synced up. We're gonna end the clip right here. Okay. So we can see that we're going to end the clip like around here and then we're going to come to this next kill. Find it right here. This could be before. So I'm going to mark in, mark out, drag that in, find the kill and use our arrow keys to come through from the shotgun pellets right there. And we're going to line that up with the marker that we have on this kill right here and one frame off. Okay. So that one is good. This one. And honestly, I'm just going to do two clips. We don't need to do all three because you guys will understand the concept. So the next thing I'll do once I have everything synced up is we're gonna go on to velocity slash time remapping this could be a little tough um for beginners what i would recommend is you literally just press Control shift d on the layer right here um the main thing is when you do time remapping it messes up the audio so i'll press Control d to duplicate this and we're gonna leave the volume on but turn off the layer right so we can't see it now this one we're gonna do the opposite we're gonna turn off the volume for the layer so that way we have a visible layer with no audio and an invisible layer with audio if that makes sense and that's going to be on the kill then from there we're literally going to go Control alt t on our keyboard to bring up time remapping add a keyframe by pressing this keyframe button here at the kill add one we could either add one right here or add one at the end if you are to add one right here you'll drag it you know you'll start at the halfway point throughout the clip and drag it to the end or if we add one right here we drag it like kind of like the full distance of this layer if we could imagine a second one being here so the best way to do it the easiest way to visualize is adding one halfway drag it to the end so that's gonna add slow-mo on the kill that's how you do that now i'll collapse this i'll collapse this that way we have the original audio works out well so i'm gonna press Control d to duplicate it disable the audio on the top layer disable the video on the bottom layer Control alt t keyframe come through halfway keyframe drag this out to the end that's that super simple okay now when it comes to effects you guys i mentioned my editing pack it's going to be super helpful for you guys uh anytime you want to add an effect you're going to press Control alt y on our keyboard to add an adjustment layer or if you want to go the long way new adjustment layer boom and what we'll do is we're actually going to um press animation apply animation preset and i'll have a couple of them for free in the description for you guys to pick out and we're actually going to go to the presets go to ae fortnite impact and clean impact two should work to view our keyframes we're gonna make sure our layer is selected and press u and we can see all these mumbo jumbo keyframe nonsense by the way you're gonna need sapphire plugins for these um so go check those out so what we're gonna do i'm gonna zoom in a little bit more we can see that we got one two three keyframes one two three keyframes one two three keyframes for everything if you could guess what keyframe do we think is going to be at the front the second keyframe because this value is set at zero then it will go up to the value right here and we can see this is where that effect starts so on the kill we're gonna line up with that second keyframe so meaning if we come to the first keyframe we're able to cut it off at that point as well as come to the end cut it off at that point so we can see boom we got that perfect intro we can add a marker onto that and we just got that impact perfect and drag that on as well just like that we are cooling okay so we can see We've got the impact on both kills and that is how you do that now when it comes to transitions another super simple concept but a lot of people have trouble with it we're going to add our adjustment layer above the separation point between that first clip's ending and that second clip's beginning now we're going to come up here to apply a preset again you're going to go to where you saved one of the transition presets from the description add like joshy swipe right or something press u to view our keyframes and we're just going to line up that third keyframe with the separation point and we are going to delete either side that isn't keyframe so we can make sure that we just have these four keyframes in that's all you need we can see boom transition has been applied that is how you do that and by the way in my editing pack i have a ton more impacts build-ups transitions color corrections so much for you guys to use in there for a super low price but yeah guys that is basically how you do that if you were to export the project you go to file export add to render queue you'll be good to go uh, but yeah that's how you edit a fortnite montage for beginners inside of after effects you just repeat this process for clip 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 all the way till you're done in an entire montage and that's how you do that but if you guys did enjoy and you learned something make sure to like comment subscribe it helps me out a lot i do appreciate your guys' support recently it's been amazing we've been trying to consistently post more and yeah go check out my editing pack like i mentioned i'll see you guys later peace out